When rock hunter Eric Rentemacki was combing the beach one night near Sault Ste. Marie, he made an interesting discovery. I was trying to figure out a way that was easier to find Lake Superior agates on Lake Superior. So I bought this black light flashlight to go out at night and try to find agates. Eric is a third generation rock hound and what he found would have an impact on the Upper Peninsula, the mineralogy community, and tourism. I found these, had no clue what I had found. Went home, Googled it, took them to rock shows, everything I could. No one had any answers for me. So I ended up getting in contact with Kelly Laughlin and everything went from there. Kelly has been collecting and dealing in minerals and specialty stones for over 30 years and is very familiar with fluorescence. He quickly realized that there was something special about the sample. Eric did not know at the time that sodalite had never been found in Michigan before. When he told me that he was found this new mineral that had fluoresced, I thought that uh, he might want to get in contact with my friend Sean Carlson, who's a geologist and is also working on the Michigan Mineralogy Project, listing all the new minerals that are found in Michigan. So I took it into my laboratory in Iron County and did some of the testing work. And the preliminary analysis looked like sodalite, so I brought some samples to Michigan Tech to confirm using their scanning electron microscope. They contacted me, said, we, you might have found something that's never been found in Michigan before. Sodalite is a mineral that fluoresces with an orange glow under an ultraviolet light. It was discovered in Ontario, Canada in the late 1800s, and Carlson believes that it was brought here at the end of the last ice age. So the glaciers probably broke off fragments of this igneous complex in Ontario and transported these rocks into Upper Michigan, where they're now along the Lake Superior shore and people can go with ultraviolet flashlights and find them. Adding to the family-friendly fun of searching for glowing rocks on the beach, Eric concocted a name for the stone, and it's taken off rather quickly. I'm a youper. So I wanted it to have a connotation of where we're from. So I figured Uper, and then people had mentioned maybe it was Sodalite, so I stole the end of Sodalite and Uper, put them together, Uper Light. With a catchy title and access to plenty of shoreline to find these things, rock hunting is bringing people to the northern coast of the UP from as far east as Sault Ste. Marie, as well as to the tip of the Keweenaw. There have been some people recently, including my neighbors, who have been up to Copper Harbor. They found them around Copper Harbor. Theoretically, you could find them on any beach. Geologists like Carlson are excited about Eric's discovery because it creates a new interest in the field amongst a younger generation. I gave two little girls some of these samples and a UV flashlight. And they took them to school and they had like hundreds of kids apparently just amazed by these glowing rocks. When you introduce people, especially at that age, to science in such a positive way, you're going to get scientists. And this is how they get introduced to it. Sean is well respected in the mineralogy community. He himself has discovered 40 minerals that were never before found in the state of Michigan and one specimen that had never been recorded anywhere in the world. I mean, if you look at the story, it really probably is the biggest story in earth science, you know, on planet earth for September, 2018. This is huge. And anytime you can actually get a story like that that draws the average person in and a person that otherwise wouldn't care or know anything about rocks um, I think that's fantastic. Uper lights have created a common interest and Eric has made a business out of the word. He is currently giving rock hunting tours two nights a week in the Sault Ste. Marie area. Um, right now I am completely booked for 2018 and I'm probably booked for 2019. I have about 500 people in line right now. <laughs> <laughs> he also markets some of his rocks and related items online. My hope is to be doing rocks full time by uh, March or April, as soon as the snow is gone, because then I can do night picking tours five to seven nights a week. I'm Lee Snitz for ABC 10 and the CW5.